Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to look at the Muse Racing chassis kit for the SAX24. Here you can see the nice looking cage that comes in the package. And it's modeled after the Ripper. Very distinct features, as you can see. Left and right body panels. Roof panel. And you can see the Jeep style grille front bumper this is a very small Phillips uh, tool with a ball bearing in the back and of course all the hardware for the kit here we have the sticker sheets Muse Racing some racing numbers roof skin and side panel skins and of course some promotion stickers for the company very nice and a nice looking instruction sheet with colors this is my SX24 that I'm going to use as a donor car it's my most uh, upgraded uh, version at the moment let's see under the hood to see what it has been upgraded this one has white metal beadlocks and very nice tires that uh, performs really nicely I also have a set of black beadlocks with uh, Wrangler MTRs that is also very nice it also has adjustable shocks from hot racing servo from Savox that is uh, very good in comparison to the original one uh, some brass uh, upgrades knuckles and brass diff cover with uh, steel protection and aluminium steering components not much more has been done to this rig, so let's see what it looks like now. And what do you know? A mini ripper. I must say, I think this truck looks really, really good. It looks good with the white beadlock wheels. I might try the black ones uh, in a later date, but for now, this looks re really nice. The build went relatively smoothly. A little bit hard with the very small hardware and i wish they switch from philips to hex in the future as you can see everything fits very nicely server fits in nice uh, i have a little bit of a problem with the original electronics the esc uh, receiver combo is pretty big as you can see uh, so i haven't put it in according to the manual uh, the electronics is supposed to fit uh, right under the hood here but it is pretty big, so I'm going to switch. You can see the battery is supposed to be in the back here. I don't like this very much. I would like it would be more hidden, but that's not the case. The wires is uh, supposed to go in here when the ESC is fitted inside the vehicle. Or at least that's what my setup is going to be. In summary, it's a very nice build. Looks and feels very nice. And I am going to paint it at some point. But I am curious to see how paint is going to look on this uh, vehicle because of the texture the panels has. But an update on that will be coming. Here you can see what is left of my SEX24. As you can see, the whole driveline has been used. Uh, skid plate and everything. Basically, you unscrew the skid plate. When everything is loose, you pull it out. And put it back in this is a job that is fairly easy to do and uh, if I can do it you can do it as well I would really recommend you picking one up yourself this is a awesome looking little truck when it comes to electronics I'm gonna put into this truck I think I will go for the fury tech speed control and motor the reason for that is because of its small footprint and of course because of the extremely nice control you have with this combo. One thing I wish I did when I ordered this kit was to buy also buy the lead bar that fits on the roof. It looks a little bit silly not having it on there, so these tabs are just hanging out there. It had a lot of good upgrades for the SX24 on the news uh, racing website, so I might go on there and buy some more in the future to complete this build. When electronics and paint is on the vehicle, I will do another update. 
some driving footage and uh, that might be on the Instagram channel and of course maybe some shorts here on the channel as well. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more content like this.